Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Many of you have asked me how to get a job abroad. And I was thinking about it, how to make a video. But finally, we are here and I'm recording this video on the basis of many requests that I have received. And in today's video, you would get a four step process to get a job in abroad. If you would follow these four steps, then I'm sure you are gonna get a job abroad. You can get a job in your dreamed country so please stay with me till the end of this video and I'm gonna let you know everything about it. The very first step is to focus on your communication skills. If you are trying to get a job abroad, then English is a must have language. And if you don't have command over it, then it's very unlikely that you are going to get a job. English is a business language. And I'm sure if you're looking at a job abroad, then you are already working on it. If you are a native English speaker, then I don't think so you're going to encounter any problem. But if you are not, suppose guys like me who's from India and my native language is Hindi. But if I'm looking at a job abroad, for example, I'm looking at a job in Singapore or Netherlands or any other country, then I should have knowledge of English. So please focus on your communication skills. Now comes to the step number two. That means identify or focus on your technical skills. In this process, you have to make sure on which technology you would like to work. That means whether you are gonna work on the cloud technologies, for example, Microsoft Azure or AWS. Most of the technical jobs abroad are very specific in nature. So please focus on your key skills, whether you want to be a tester, business analyst, or you want to be into the cloud technology. So you have to focus on that. This leads to the step number three, that is build your resume and create your LinkedIn profile. If you have already the LinkedIn profile, then I'm sure you can improve it. In order to get a job abroad, you must focus on your LinkedIn profile because this is very important. Why it's important? Because nowadays most of the recruiters, they are not going on any job portal. They are directly hiring people from the LinkedIn. And how you can improve it? And what are the different steps to apply a job over LinkedIn? I'm gonna let you know at the end of this video. Also, you should have a very nice resume. That means you should have a very good formatted resume. There should be no error. There are many tips and tricks that you can apply on your resume. In this video, I'm also gonna let you know about one of the website where you can create your free resume. Also, you can download the resume into many formats. So please don't forget to check that out. Lastly, we are gonna talk about step number four. That means apply the job for your desired country or your dream country. You have to identify where you would like to work, whether you would like to work in Germany, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Netherlands or maybe in Singapore. Once you have decided where you would like to work, you have to start applying your job over there. It should not be like that. You are applying everywhere. I would rather suggest you first target one country and there you start applying your jobs. Now it's the time where we are going to have a look at the website where you can create your resume and you can get the same into the different formats. You can even have a templates over there. Then after that, I'm going to also let you know about the LinkedIn. There's a job feature. Over the LinkedIn, you would find many features that can help you out to apply a job or to improve your resume. So let's head over to the web portal where I'm going to show you everything. The very first, you're going to have a look at the flowcv.io. This is a very important website. You can build your resume for free on this website. If you would scroll down on this website, you would get many different templates over here. You can choose any of these templates and can start building your own resume. Also, you can download this resume for free. However, if you would like to contribute something to this website owner or the team, then you can help them with a cup of coffee. That means you can donate some amount of money. If you really find that useful, you can also share it with your friends and other colleagues. They can also take advantage from this site. Secondly, when I talked about the LinkedIn profile, your LinkedIn profile should be completed. 
If your LinkedIn profile is not completed, then definitely it's not good for your career. Reason being, when the recruiters are looking for the candidates for a particular job, they always go through your LinkedIn profile and over there, they are going to have a look about all the details that you have mentioned. For example, look at my profile. Over here, I have mentioned my name, also the title, and there's a headline as well. Not only that, if you would go down, you would see my different activities, featured, my summaries also over there. Then there's all the experience, that means the companies where I have worked so far, everything has been mentioned with the details along it. Then I have my education section, where I have mentioned all my degrees, their time frame, and also what kind of degree I have completed. Next to that, I have my licenses and certifications, then some volunteer work, my skills, and another very important section over here is recommendations. Recommendations are the one that you get when your colleague or any of the person who knows you, they can recommend you for a particular job or they can talk about your skills as well as they can talk about your work, how good you are in your field. And I would say those should be in your CV as well. Next to that, if you have received any honors and awards, they should be over there. And plus, if you have cleared any language test, for example, IELTS or PT, please don't forget to mention over here. That's also very important. So that's all about your LinkedIn profile. It should be fully completed. If it's not completed, then maybe your chances are very low in order to get a job or to be contacted by the recruiters. Next step is to connect with the different recruiters. For example, you are targeting a job in Germany. Then I'll suggest you find out all the recruiters in Germany and then try to connect with them. For example, in the search box above, you can type Germany, HR. You need to type this one. Then you will get the different options over here. You are looking for the people, select people. Then which country, location, you can see the Germany. And here I selected Germany. Now show the results. So in this one, you will get all the talent acquisition managers, recruiters and everyone in Germany. You can start connecting with them. And that's how you can make your network and you can start applying for the different jobs. Generally, all the recruiters, they post their jobs over there and you can directly apply for them. Another way is to apply jobs over here. So you have to click on this job button on the top bar there you can start searching for the job what kind of job you are looking for for example i'll say i'm looking for power bi just type power bi and next you can type the country which is germany over here and then you have the different filters what i suggest always go to the job type and here you can filter it out not only that if you really don't want to go to the website there you don't want to fill the forms and all click on this easy apply button what would happen it's going to ask on the same page to fill only a few details and upload your resume another very important tip whenever you are applying for any job for any particular country or for any category please make sure that your resume is matching with the jd given over here you can also copy and paste and modify and put into your resume but your skills should be related to that why i'm asking you there's one very important and significant reason behind that. Most of the companies nowadays are using AI tools and they search for the keywords. If the JD keywords are not matching with your resume, then they are automatically going to reject your resume and you would get an automated email. And then you would think, oh, why they didn't select me? Because nobody is going to do this manual process anymore. Everything is automated. So please make sure your resume is matching with the JD. So that's very important. Another thing, whenever you are trying to search for a job, for example, if I'll just click the job, then you would get the job seekers guidance on LinkedIn, which you can see over here on my right hand side. You can just click on it, show more, and here you will get all the tips and tricks to apply for any particular job or how to improve your resume. One last very important thing that I would like to discuss with you is that how to build your resume many of us either are freshers or you don't have a knowledge when you are trying to change your field for example you are working in accountancy but right now you want to make your career in the cloud technologies for example microsoft azure or maybe you want to be a power bi developer 
So in that case, first you need to search any resume template for that particular technology. And then based on that, start building your own skills. Also, don't forget to improve your communication skills, then your LinkedIn profile. And that's how you can start applying jobs for any particular country. Lastly, guys, if you have any more question and concern, then we have our own website www.biconsultingpro.com. Here you can directly come to the contact page and here you can write your queries to us. Not only that, if you are looking for any training or any courses, you can directly come over there. Lastly, if you want to watch any of our previous videos, please click on this vlog button where you will get all our latest vlogs and you can learn everything over there related to Power BI, Microsoft Power Platform and Azure technologies. You can also sign up on our website. That's all guys. That was our first step process to land a job abroad. Now you know what you have to do. So what are you thinking for? Start your preparation now and I'm sure within a couple of months you can land a job abroad. Best of luck and please do let me know if you have any more questions and concerns. We are here to help you. See you in the next video.